If this video reaches 1,000 likes, we'll be giving away two of our t-shirts from the Malliminous store. I don't think anyone in this fandom is gonna contest how weird it is. Now, we may not be as weird as some of the Sonic people, but we are still pretty strange. And, of course, because shipping is such a big part of this fandom, we have some weird ships. So, I'm your host, Faith from Illuminous, and join me as we venture down the rabbit hole that should never be ventured down as we count the top 10 weirdest ships in the fandom. Keep in mind, this is just the list that I could gather up, but if you guys wish to add your own, do it in the comment section down below. Number 10. Alright, so this one is pretty tame and mostly a joke, except for the... The, the graphic graphic images that will scar me for the rest of my life that clearly aren't a joke uh, featuring Rarity and Tom. Yes, Rarity and Tom from when she thought Tom the boater was a diamond. And I guess it is true, a diamond is a girl's best friend, even though they're essentially worthless and only have an artificial scarcity which hikes the price up. Regardless, because of the way she was so possessive over the diamond, People have shipped Rarity and Tom together many, many times, either as a joke or for some reason being serious. Number 9! Okay, so this one's mainly popularized from what I see from Gamer Luna, the spinoff of Princess Molestia. May she rest in peace, our immortal goddess. Gamer Luna features a little ship between Luna and Derpy, which I would have never guessed to pair together. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense they're two misunderstood characters who are heavily loved within the fandom. But in universe, they're just kind of misunderstood and people kind of ignore them or they kind of talk about them behind their backs when they think they can't hear. So I guess it's kind of that thing that they can kind of relate, though I don't know how uh, attempted genocide and regicide rank with being made fun of because your eyes are kind of weird. Anyways, this one is pretty tame, but it's still a really obscure shit that was only popularized because the blog was already popular. Number 8. Pinky and Sombra. So, probably one of the worst villains in MLP as far as how he's, you know, destroyed. It was very anticlimactic and I, I think that was their first kill. I, I hope that was their first kill. But people ship Pinky and Sombra. Again, this may be due to a Tumblr blog which had Sombra possessing Pinky for whatever reason and it was adorable. So perhaps that's why, but maybe it's the crystals and Pinky grew up on a rock farm. Really, I'm trying to make sense out of the nonsensical and I should really just stop, but I'm honestly curious. What made people want to ship these two? I mean, Sombra had all of five seconds on screen, but we realize all it takes is like two characters slightly being close together to be considered a pair. So I guess the five seconds was enough to make him a stable enough character with a stable enough personality as to ship them? Number seven, Pinkie Pie and Celestia. Now, I have no idea where this one actually came from other than a film fiction story which has thousands and thousands of likes and to be honest I've tried reading it and it just doesn't really appeal to me the writing's mediocre at best but that aside I guess I can kind of see this one more than the other one at least for the sense of Celestia has been portrayed as being someone who enjoys a good prank now and again someone who's very uh, smothered by their political power and the daily grind of that and maybe it's something like she has a little ray of sunshine that she can go to every day that makes her happy and her laugh and allows her to enjoy her life that's the only way i can justify this ship because otherwise it, it just makes no sense and it's downright pedophilic but anyone that ship with celestia pretty much is she's like a thousand years old she's the ultimate gilf number six Twilight Sparkle and her scrolls. Alright, so this one is mainly a joke one, except it's not because of all the porn. There's there's a lot of porn. So much porn. P please help. So Twilight, as we know, is weirdly obsessed with scrolls and shards and books and everything like that. And this one can kind of be combined with her being shipped with books because Let's face it, everyone's made that joke eventually. But there's been quite a few stories of her just finding emotional and sexual attraction to her scrolls and books. And perhaps it's because of her antisocial personality that she enjoys it so much. 
I'm not a psychologist, so I'm not going to dwell too much into that because I'd just be shooting from the hip. But hey, that's probably what the people who are making these stories and drawing this stuff are going for. Either that or they're going for a laugh. Number 5. Mod and Boulder. Alright, so this one is a little bit more sensible until you realize it's a pebble and people realize that her coat doesn't have pockets so they kind of envisioned her putting Boulder somewhere where he probably shouldn't be going. Gynecologists would not be happy to know where she stores him. Anyways, it's kind of makes sense because obviously she has some sort of emotional attachment and if you prescribe to the theory I put out there where Maude's Boulder might be a changeling or some sort of coping mechanism, you can understand why she has such a deep-rooted emotional connection due to some childhood trauma which may have eventually evolved into to a sexual attraction. Number four, Trixie and Rainbow Dash. All right, don't get me wrong. Trixie is best pwn, one of best pwns, right next to Adagio and Sunset. However, I don't really see the sense in pairing these two. Yes, they're both braggarts. Yes, they're both egomaniacs, but two egomaniacs don't really work well together. Plus, these two don't have a lot in common. I've seen stories that were okayly written that shipped the two, but it's really ham-fisted, such as Trixie wanted to perform for the Wonder Boats. Somehow. I, I guess she didn't get the memo that you need wings to fly. But she wanted to perform, like, pyrotechnics on their flight, and I don't know about you, but I'm not sure if I would be quite comfortable with having flames and explosions happen next to my feathers. Seems like a recipe for disaster. Number three, Trixie and Applejack. Okay, this one, maybe it's supposed to be Applejack humbling Trixie in some sort of reverse position where Trixie is the submissive type and, and Applejack is the dominant and, and that's how they play it up. I can only see this one as some sort of dominatrix reversal role here. That's the only way I can really see it. Maybe Trixie's hard on her luck and she needs a job and Applejack takes her in so I can kind of see it, but it's such an obscure one. Trixie is such a weird character to ship with because she's got a very distinctive personality that clashes with a lot of other characters. Number two. All right, so we're getting into that really weird realm because this one is Rarity and Button Mash. I have no idea why. But apparently there's just a lot of pictures on Derpy Buru regarding these two. And I didn't even search for it, it just started popping up one day. I have no idea if it's one person commissioning a bunch of this, but it's enough to catch my eye and that's disturbing. I guess the fandom, for whatever reason, sees Rarity as the boyfriend stealer, older sister of Sweetie Belle, perhaps? And that's why, and I, I guess Button's just a young boy who's attracted to mature mares. She's not even mature, she's just a fully grown mare. So I, I, I don't know. I, I honestly do not know what drives people to make these two a pair other than they like infidelity and pedophilia. And the number one strangest ship is Rainbow Dash in the Kitchen Sink. Yes, Rainbow Dash has fallen in love with many things, but the most obscure and random one would be a literal kitchen sink, in which it is probably one of the most popular crack ships in the world, at least for MLP. And it is hilarious. It's a great story. I recommend you go read it. There's all kinds of interesting little spin-offs of it, and it's clean I would say there's obviously innuendos but there's nothing explicit from what I remember but hey that's gonna do it for me guys and for an honorary mention everyone who does Sonic X Rainbow Dash please stop this is not okay you need help where are your parents who are your parents deadmeme.webm anyways guys like I said this has been Fate or Malumnus I hope you guys enjoy be sure to leave your comments down below of what crazy ships you guys have seen or even ship and i'll be sure to read them and maybe i'll respond to them if they're strange enough so it's guys i'll see you guys next time in the next video peace of them out if you have a if you have a recommendation for a top 10 or top 5 leave it down below as well and maybe we'll do it you guys have an awesome day and i'll see you guys next time Woo!